was at its best as England and Scotland took the field. For the first time, the Queen, accompanied by the Duke, was there to see a match between these ancient rivals. England won the toss and Scotland kicked off. England in white shirts. And who could have guessed the 100,000 spectators were to witness a goal rush? Jimmy Greaves gave a perfect pass to Robson and he scored. A goal up in nine minutes. Already England moved so fast it needed slow motion to appreciate it. An escape for Scotland, then danger for England. Fortunately, the reliable Ron Springett had a piece of luck and at last left back McNeil got the ball away. Then that 100,000 pounds worth of footballer Jimmy Greaves scored goal two. Scottish right half Mackay tried a long shot, only to find spring it on the alert. In goal for Scotland, Haffey wasn't having all the luck, but no mistake this time. The England forwards were beginning to look like world beaters. In centre, Bobby Smith led them beautifully. Greaves took his pass, and it was goal number three. Three goals in 29 minutes. No wonder England supporters felt on top of the world as Smith kicked off in the second half. Scotland now fought back. Their hopes rose when a foul was given against England just outside the penalty area. The kick was entrusted to right half Dave Mackay. He pierced the defenders, one for Scotland. Haffey just saved from Charlton, a narrow escape. Johnny McLeod sent the ball to outside left, Davy Wilson, and it was Scotland's second goal. England now led 3-2. The Scots were back in the game again. Bobby Charlton failed to get another for England. Douglas scored after a free kick, and England's fifth goal came from Bobby Smith. Even now, Scotland didn't lose heart. Though England led 5-2, Pat Quinn scored their third. Quinn tried to see if he could do it again. England were really lucky this time. Johnny Haynes scored from the edge of the box. Oh, it's terrible. Two minutes later, the ball found Haynes again. Like a flash, it was in the net. It was fantastic. England now led 7-3, and from Springett to Bobby Smith, they couldn't do anything wrong. Barely 60 seconds after Haynes' last goal, Greaves scored again trick for the Chelsea wonder and England hadn't done yet. Bobby Smith got goal number nine. For Scotland a sad day. Johnny Haynes received the British International Championship trophy from the Queen. A proud day for English football.